And you know how we're doing it? We're doing it by speaking the truth at every step of the way. There are two genders in this country. Period. That is the truth. Fossil fuels are a requirement for human prosperity. Drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear energy. Reverse racism is racism. An open border is not a border. Parents determine the education of their children. The nuclear family is the greatest form of governance known to mankind. Capitalism lifts us up from poverty. There are three branches of government in the United States, not four. Here about you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch on the Tatum Store website. And all of our Trump merch, I'm going to start, uh, now that he's, you know, obviously ahead and he's probably going to need some support, all of the Trump merch that you buy from our store, proceeds from that. That means profit. That doesn't mean the whole thing because we would, you know, we'll be having going to pay these people. So proceeds from that. And I'll pick a designated amount of proceeds. We'll submit that to the Trump campaign and also we'll keep you apprised of it. If you're on our email list or you, you you are on a Tatum Plus, we'll send you or we'll post it on YouTube as well. When we donate, we'll send you the amount that we donated, whatever the case may be. So that's a good way to get you some good merch and also support the Trump campaign at the same time. Like, subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Vivek Ramaswamy in New Hampshire. And I'm told, and this the, I haven't seen the clip yet, but I am told that Vivek literally went ham at this particular rally on behalf of Donald Trump. He dropped out. He went to New Hampshire. He's supporting Donald Trump. Could he be Donald Trump's VP? I don't know. But let's listen to what Vivek Ramaswamy had to say. There is not a better choice left in this race than this man right here. And that is why I am asking you to do the right thing as New Hampshire and to vote for Donald J. Trump as your next president. Because we're not working with a lot of time here. If our kids are in high school before we get this right, we don't have a country left. That's what it means. We've been celebrating our diversity and our differences for so long that we forgot all of the ways that we are the same as Americans bound by that common set of ideals that set this country into motion. We believe those ideals still exist. This man is going to be your next president to revive them. E pluribus unum from many one. And you know how we're doing it? We're doing it by speaking the truth at every step of the way. There are two genders in this country. Period. That is the truth. Fossil fuels are a requirement for human prosperity. Drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear energy. Reverse racism is racism. An open border is not a border. Parents determine the education of their children. The nuclear family is the greatest form of governance known to mankind. Capitalism lifts us up from poverty. There are three branches of government in the United States, not four. And the U.S. Constitution is the strongest and greatest guarantor of freedom in human history. That is the truth. We fight for the truth. We stand up for the truth. That is what won us the American Revolution. That is what reunited us after the Civil War. That is what won us two world wars and the Cold War. That is what still gives hope to the free world. And if we can revive that dream over group identity and victimhood and grievance, then nobody in the world, not a nation, not a corporation, not a virus, not China is going to defeat us. That is what American exceptionalism is all about. That is what we are going to revive to, yes, make America great again. Vote for this man right here in the New Hampshire primary. God bless you and your families. And may God bless our United States of America. Thank you, New Hampshire. It's good to see you guys. We're coming back and winning this in a landslide. We will not stop until we get this job done. Thank you all. God bless you and your families.
Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's how was that? Pretty good, right? That was pretty good. And he's a fantastic guy. And he's really, uh, he's got something that's uh, very special because he started off with a Zippo and he's got, he ended up very strong. He did a great job. I was actually surprised when he called because he was doing well. And uh, it's an honor to have his endorsement. He's going to be working with us and he'll be working with us for a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, it's funny. I'm not going to lie, man. It, just listening to Vivek speak, it, it, it inspires me. Even Donald Trump. I mean, it's not like I'm picking one or the other, but hearing him too talk about this country inspires me. I, you know, I wonder, is he going to pick Vivek as his VP? I, I think that just looking, I'm, I'm watching them together and I'm listening to the clip and I, I, could, I could actually see them being on the ticket together. Because if you look at who's in the race right now, Vivek did not poll well, but that may not be a reflection of how he polls around the country. That was just Iowa. But you have DeSantis, Nikki, and you have the other two of the opposite spectrum is a is a DeSan, I mean is a, is a uh, Donald Trump and, v- and Vivek Ramaswamy. I honestly believe that Vivek can articulate what Trump is trying to do and say. I think he does a good job at conveying it, but I think that Vivek Ramaswamy expresses it in a very in, in a clearer manner, in a, in a more professional manner. And I, I, hey, I didn't even think that they would be a good combo until I just watched that, and I said, well, wait a minute. Vivek Ramaswamy has a strong voice. Vivek Ramaswamy is he got his legs under him. He he got he can he can he can throw his weight around. And you're looking at two people who are not politicians and two people who are probably billionaires living the American dream and understanding business and how business operates. Maybe that's too too much of the same person. Meaning that you got two A type personalities, but maybe that's what America needs. I don't see a Nikki Haley. I don't see any other Republicans. They're not strong enough. Somebody brought up Tim Scott. He ain't strong enough. Tim Scott still want to toe the line in many in many cases. When Tim Scott said America still have a long way to go, and, and, and I said no, nah, no, nah. America got a long way to go with racism. Get the shut the front door. I have nothing more to say to you because it's not that. He really believes that, in my opinion. I feel like he's saying that so he can get certain people to buy into what he's to, to his campaign. He said he got pulled over like twenty times for no reason. Like I can't trust people that say stuff like that. There is I'm a, I'm gonna put it on record. There is no way whatsoever anybody in America gets pulled over. I mean, let me say not in the history. Maybe somebody in history with a bad cop pulling over one person. But when you talk about Tim Scott's statement. There is, I will put, I could almost put my life on it that that did not happen. That he didn't get pulled over that many times. Ain't nobody pulling Tim Scott. Tim Scott, Tim Scott, if you didn't see his face, you would think he would be a, a, a white man. So you're talking about they just pulled him over because he's black and, and he has his credentials and he's well spoken and he's probably driving a nice car and he's a United States congressman and you tell me they just keep pulling him over. Let me just say this too. I, I, have to, I ain't even trying to get on Tim Scott. When a cop run your license plate, they can see your name. They run your plate, your thing pop up, ding, 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 ding. Your name pop up, your address pops up. All of these things pop up. And, and, and normally in Tucson, we do a traffic stop. Is there anything noteworthy? We'll put the notations in the system. So when somebody runs you, they'll say, okay, this person ran from the cops last time. This person's anti police. Whatever the case may be, they put notes in there. And I guarantee you, if the guy's getting picked on, somebody put a note in there and said, this is Tim Scott. You know, he's complaining about being pulled over for no reason, whatever the case may be. You got pulled over on a highway? Well, brother, I'm telling you, the same highway patrolman probably pulled you over. You, you're claiming that the same highway patrolman pulled you over at least half of those times. Because there's no way in the world you finna get 15 different people in the same stretch of highway from the highway patrol. Anyway, hold the phone, I'll be back at the break.